So this will be our second homicide case. To cool the love you pump through my veins Cause I'm burning I'm burning up for you Oh, Jesus! Out of nowhere. These homicides are pretty gruesome. Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. Oh, God. <laughs> he what hates us. Got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend them off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, Collie boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's really? Go. Okay, maybe you should drive this uh, time then. The bum took a swipe at me. Put him down with my sap. That's the guy from the papers. Solved that big case. My wife is so dumb, she stares at orange juice for hours. Well, it does say concentrate in the cart. Oh, wrong call. Okay. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. You did a decent job on the head of the case, Phelps. Not bad for your first time at bat. Thanks, Rusty. But don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. <laughs> oh, wow. No assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. See, I knew you were a fast learner, Phelps. You might get along after all. Now, boys. Boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy is being completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case, fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex. Captain, aren't Winters. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for so that matter. You don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world, with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to beat that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue oh, to God. believe they can take a life. Such a comment. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. Detective, I was first on scene. Okay. So what's going on over there? You find her, Gonzalez? Not me. A family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. Can you show me the body? It's under the pepper tree, this way. Lead away. If olive oil comes from olives, where's baby oil come from? Oh, we've heard that joke before. Come on. Can't be much help to you. Jesus. Though. Here she is. Oh God, why is this? Why is she naked? It's our second case, and this girl is naked as well. Oh, God. 
god. Okay, let's look. Let's start with the face. Mm, I can't say anything special there. The oh. mark is very distinctive. I'll rope. do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. Okay, she has some rope marks there. Let's check her left arm. What's this mark? A cut on the finger. Fourth finger, left hand, a wedding or engagement ring. Oh, Violently God. Removed. Okay. Rope marks and then wedding ring uh, removal. Anything on this hand? Looks like she was tied up. It does at first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Okay, let's check her body. The stomping angle in the Henry case, was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Hmm. Okay, this is her pass. Well, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R and I? Back in a second. Parent Teacher Association. Okay. I thought so. Okay. RNI says a Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What I tell you? Hmm. Grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. Could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? <laughs> oh, a lot of uh, shoe prints here. Okay, I guess we need to go and. Uh, I'm oh. at a loss. Similar MO. To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. Hmm. Didn't we find all the evidence? Oh, there is one more evidence we missed. No, wait. Did we miss something in the purse? Oh, the dollar bill. No, wait. What's the first one then? I'm so confused. The motive was robbery. Why not take the money? Hmm. Okay. I think that was everything. So we need to go where? Um, okay, right. The Muller residence. You're behind the wheel. All these people are vultures, officer. But you can tell I me what's going on. Jesus, why is Rusty all, all, all the way there? There's 
still might be some play in the boyfriend angle. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If it doesn't work out, then. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? Well, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagined. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my Jeez. children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? But don't tell me you're I don't care. This conversation is over. Excuse me. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name? Uh, wow. Well, okay. Smaller? Can we come in? I suppose so. Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? We're gonna have <laughs> He's going to smoke in there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, we found a note and it says this is gonna help us. Never mind. Oh we can go outside. No we can't. Never mind. Not sure this means much. Alright, it's a gloss. What should we pick? The carrot. Maybe. No. The lemon. This is a horrible. This is so weird. <laughs> okay. So uh, we have two rooms here. Let's go to the right one first. Okay, a ring box. No sign of a wedding ring. Okay. And what's the second box? Elder Lee. wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. Hmm, okay. Anything here? Mm, nope. Some shoes. Size eight. Work boots. Size eight. Okay, should we uh, interrogate her then? We just have a few questions too. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. <laughs> wow, okay. You think you could answer a few questions for us? I could try. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? A ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. Uh, is she like, telling the truth here? Uh, I can't tell. I can't tell. No, okay, let's press doubt. You seem reluctant to talk about her jewelry. It's a touchy subject with Daddy. Uh, how so? She wasted too much money on her appearance. <laughs> ah, damn it, we missed it. Okay. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. 
Tommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. Uh, is she telling me the truth? I don't know. This is so difficult. And did he come and get you? Of course. Some boys offered me a ride home, but that's not the right thing to do. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Oh, God, we've missed two out of, the, out of three here. <sighs> okay. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. No, they aren't. <laughs> they weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. The once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He brought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. I know this is a tough time for you, Michelle, but you should really try and help the police. Whoa! What did? Daddy, the police are room here. Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, Mommy is Isn't gone. this a famous Young actor? Lady. She's not even. I think out this of is a famous actor. You can't come right? in here interrogating her like she's so. Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What? But she only. We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. Okay, footprints. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? <laughs> Just tell it's us routine, answer. sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. That's a lie. We found eight in your bedroom. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? I have no idea. That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? <laughs> because I always get teased about the size of my feet. You know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. Oh, God. Okay. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. That's wrong, because your daughter told us. You should come clean if you're having an affair, or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? Yeah, your daughter just told us that. So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. Oh, we're good at this now. Okay. You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out at dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. Your wife ever go out by herself to bars, nightclubs? No. What are you, what are you suggesting? You suggesting my wife's loose? <laughs> now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. Okay, good. Movements of victim. Your wife went to pick up Michelle? Yes, that's right. No, she didn't. Whoa. Special Agent Squeaky, I have some fantastic news within the agency. Agent p one underscore has been promoted to a special agent.
Thank you very much for the <laughs> subscription, Pixie. It was very nice. You didn't need to do that. However, here at the agency, we do have a screening process here. Uh, shout out. So, oh, thank you for a happy affiliate. But we actually need to look at Please, your case all. file Please. here. So let's see what the case file looks like. Oh, Pixie too. <laughs> okay, no mistake. Good evening, Special Agent Squeaky. This is the top secret file you requested. Case file number 125,033,915. Subject's name, p one xe underscore. Psychological profile evaluation, hey a people of the web. Impix and L enjoy playing games and be loud. Proud affiliate fairy and community mum of the affiliate army. Unconfirmed fact about them, they brush their teeth 10 times a day. Last observed doing. Can L be good at ATL East 1 Battle Royal? Over at twitch.tv slash p one xc underscore. Thank you again. It was very nice. You didn't need to do that, but I hope you're having a great evening. Okay, I think we're going to use the Hasper's alibi here. Whoa. So we're calling a lie here. I think you went with her, but you didn't go to the school. What really happened, Waller? You're making this stuff up. I think you and streamed right you now, right? To didn't you? Any different. Damn you. I don't even get a chance to grieve and you go and start pointing the finger at me. You can go to hell. Oh, we missed that one. Damn it. Okay. History of violence. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not that's not true, god damn it. But your daughter told us. Oh, your daughter told us. I think you set this up, Hugo. I think you kicked up a fuss about staying home for an alibi. Then you followed your wife and murdered her. You're out of your mind coming in here, making accusations like that. Come out into the yard and I'll make you take that back, mister. Oh, God, Getting we failed that one. Okay. Very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind and don't make me come looking for you. should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in LA. Three, we have no evidence tying him to the crime scene. Hello, detective. Yeah, uh, okay. Oh, quickly. She wants something here, the neighbor. Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Oh, Jesus. He's burning evidence. Oh, tackle him. Step away from the incinerator. Oh, God. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. Mm. Nice. We got him. So let's see what he burnt here. The shoe, okay. This doesn't look good, Hugo. I can get him booked in at Central Officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the cat. Yes, sir, Detective. 
Is there someone you can call, miss? I, I don't know what's home and... You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family, grandparents, aunts or uncles? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and... Call her. We're going to get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. such a thing as soap, you know. Isn't Cole the Phelps, badge 1247. Solving all the cases? How could I help, detective? I need an Galloway. address on a Belmont High division. School. Badge number 564. Checking for you, detective. Go ahead, detective unit. Could we get Ray Belmont Pinker and a technical five. services team one to a house at 130 five, North Bonnie Bray Street. Street? Thanks. Send someone down from Juvenile Hall to look after a young lady. Okay, nice. So let's mark the location in our uh, notepad. You can drive. Inform Detective Phelps that the coroner has report waiting. Please mark downtown when he's available. Got it, KGPL. I'm surprised, you know. I didn't make the husband for it. Always make the husband. <laughs> Nine <laughs> times out of ten is the closest person to the Vic who does the deed. God knows I've wanted to kill some lives of mine. Lex Parsimonii. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest <laughs> explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all the turgical out of it. I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate it. You try this one on the side. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging. <laughs> ah, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. Closes cases, Cole. Puts a lot of people away that way. Saturday is the spring unveiling, Emmy. It's the first season since fabric rationing's over. We have to go. I told you I can't Saturday. I'm busy. Busy where? You're going on another drive with Baby Gardner, aren't you? This is so messed up. <laughs> okay. Go, Phelps. I'll take the car and see if I can cut him off. Okay, I'm going this way here. Damn it, he turned the right. Oh god, is he going to the car? No. Oh. Uh, he has such a lead now. Him there. Come on, you can do it. Tackle him already. Oh God, he's so far ahead right now. Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. 
And I would love to make you for that, you oaky motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like them a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. <laughs> okay, that's a good reason. Oh, but bro. You're under arrest, Eli. We're in very deep trouble. Jesus Christ, okay. Get some backup down here, Rusty. We Book need to him. Get this one downtown and into a cell. Book him. I'll tell them we got a kitty raper coming in. They can roll out the red carpet. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. Eli Rooney. We've met him. Filthy son of a bitch. He was here yesterday before the dance. Was it him you saw park the car? I don't know, sir. I'd like to say yes, but the truth is it was pretty dark. Would you say Rooney is violent? Yes, sir. I would say so, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Oh, it's right here. Up, oh, jump over. Wait a minute, isn't it right here? Oh, I'm so confused right now. Ah, we've already Such done this place. You know? Okay. Uh, let's go to the morgue then. Can you drive to this one? Phelps, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? <laughs> Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Uh, take a look at the samples on the bench. Ah, okay. What are the normal uses for that kind of rope? On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. Hmm. Okay, let's take the next rope. So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. So anything else here we should look at? Hmm.
Okay, let's look at this again, because we got a bit confused. So why can we move it out of the micro uh, microscope? School Phelps. Deidre might have got there, she might not. Either way, it's an angle worth checking. Okay. Uh, there is something we've missed in here. No, there isn't. Okay. Never mind. Then let's go to the uh, school then. Let's see. Here's our car. So we're looking for a sailor, basically. You know the way. You can drive. Not exactly the happiest of places the corner's office. Carruthers is a good man. Professional. Diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, man. The corners. How so? No, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of quartz. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. Been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. Let's turn, shall we, during this... ...situation. Okay, so this is a school. Okay, so we need to... This is so... Okay, this is so large. Not even sure what we are supposed to see here. Dude, I need help here. Rusty, you need to help me. What now? All right. Search the car for physical evidence. Okay. Uh, clues. Oh, God. Which car is it, then? We don't have a uh, license plate, so I don't actually know which car. Okay. <laughs> it's probably this one. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that's a stupid. Okay. Hey, you guys from Homicide? Right here. Eh, uh, that janitor is really suspicious. Okay. Yeah, we have to talk with that janitor later on. Okay, let's check inside here. Well, well, well. What do we have here? We have some rope. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. And we have a janitor suit here. No. H M. Are stenciled H M. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. Oh, where did he go? Here, okay. Excuse me, sir. You're holding your broom really funny. Oh, we can't talk Why to him. Why are you asking all these questions? Am I a suspect? Rusty's already on their way to the car here. Okay. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? 
I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, Detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Thanks, ma'am. You're behind the wheel. Okay, so I think we're going to the central station here, and then we're going to interrogate him. And I see we make room it. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car. He had her jewelry. The DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it, who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps. He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let Mueller slide for a while. He gets a free pass for him. Better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. Are they ready? <laughs> Moeller's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. Right, okay. Who should we start with? Okay, Rusty wants to go in. Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, Phelps, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. Really? I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing with Jesus. Okay. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? You're down on your luck, Eli. Oh, yeah, mechanic. I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. Is it a mechanic? I'm looking for something new. You better not be lying to me, Eli. If I send an officer down there to find out and it turns out you wasted his time... Hell, I ain't lying. That ain't worth lying over. <laughs> okay. Let's do orals here. Uh, 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 uh. You looking for some wisdom in that book of yours? Okay, that was fail. Jesus, okay. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. <laughs> this is so messed that's up. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. You really think I'm gonna squeal? I think he's telling me the truth, to be honest. Farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping, am I right? I prefer braid, tie hitching braid, stays tied. <laughs> you killed Mrs. Moeller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. I ain't done nothing like I that. think he's innocent. Come on, Eli. How else are you going to pay for yourself? I got me a pension from the First War. It ain't much, but it does pay some. I don't like you, Eli. <laughs> I think you're an evil man. I think you try to pass off your pain to other people. I can't make you for this case. But my consolation is that I don't think you will be out of prison for very long. You can count on it, shitbird. By the way, Eli, the captain and the hat squad would like to talk to you next. Any idea what they might want to talk about? For my money, Hugo Moeller's our number one suspect. Yeah, I think so. Solid. I think it's time we hit him with it. Oh, where is he going? Here's where we stand, Hugo. Okay, here we go. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. 
Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. You're full of shit, Hugo. <laughs> you want us to feel sorry for you? We feel sorry for your wife. The blood came from the wound in your wife's head. Why would I lie? You can check at the workshop. Okay, let's take the bloody shoes here. You don't want to catch the real guy. Oh God, no, we failed. You just want to blame me. Okay. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. Ah, uh, he no, yeah, no. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Mm, that's a lie because we saw the oil routes. Enough okay. lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Okay, we got that one. Green overalls, blood stain with the initials HM found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator too? Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. Hmm. You're going to die for this, Muller. But oh, Jesus. You better give me something if I'm going to believe your story. My conscience is clear. You can't badger me into admitting anything. Oh, so we can charge the suspect or we can leave the interrogation. I'm not really sure if you did it. We're letting you go for now, Muller. Go home and see your daughter and work on your story. It's got more holes than a batting cage. That's the guy. Detective, that's him. That's the guy who parked the car. I'm sure of it. Hey! Oh, away. Jesus. That's not true. I can't. I can't go to jail. We're so bad at this. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. Keep it steady, and I'll try to bust his tire. No, 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 no. Oh, God. here Hugo once we get the janitor statement you'll be staring down a murder charge I have to say I'm disappointed Oh, God. I stood in front of a troop of reporters and made promises. Promises of swift and fearful retribution. And you bring me an armful of vagary and happenstance. You made the department look bad, lad. Do it again and your career as a policeman will come to an abrupt and ignominious end. You two are back on the streets. 
Find street criminals, rouse them, beat them, and restore some fervor to your police work. Your next case will come when you've revived my faith in your abilities. Really? Did we get demoted?